All right, guys. So I figured today we would just have a really quick chat. Blech. So I recently had this conversation with one of my few Patreon patrons. Thank you so much for being a patron. Um, all of like eight of you, I really appreciate you guys. You really make this channel possible. Anyway, I had this conversation and they suggested that maybe I should make a video about it. So that's what I'm doing today. But the basic idea is that, you know, they're relatively new to music production and they had questions about backing up and maintaining version control and also the idea of when you start working on a mix, sometimes you're not sure, you're not really confident about whether or not what you've done is an improvement, whether you have improved your mix over time, right? So especially when you're first starting out, and I do remember doing this a lot more than I do now, uh, it's... You find yourself wanting to go back and look at previous versions of your mix to kind of... Um, not A-B test, but get a sense of where you are and what direction you're going and whether you like the direction that you're going in, right? And so, you know, they were saying their backgrounds in software development. And so in that industry, right, you have version control um, and stuff like that where you can go back and you can actually revert back to where you previously were if things go south. And so, you know, they were asking about things like Pro Tools projects offline and then the idea of saving revisions and going back to earlier revisions as necessary. So part of their question was whether or not I use the Pro Tools Projects feature, which I do not use. Um, I just haven't gotten into it yet. I don't know why. I'm sure it's fine. I've heard some stuff from people about randomly losing projects, you know, based on, it sounds like it's based on whether or not you're online or connected to the internet when you make certain changes. There were some bugs with that and some people did lose whole projects. And so that's part of why I'm nervous about it. And it might be fixed by now. I'm not really sure. I haven't kept up with that as well as I could have. Uh, maybe someone can tell us in the comments below uh, their experience with that feature and whether or not that part of it's fixed. I don't know. So I don't use that, but what I wanted to show you is what I do use. So what I do use is very low tech, um, which also makes it affordable, right? So that's a good thing. But, um, but I found it to be very reliable, which is really important to me. And I have control over it and I feel comfortable with it. And it's just my personal preference, right? So with any of these things, you know, it's, it's all about preference. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to do different things in Pro Tools, like I've said a million times before. This is just my personal way for how I tend to save different revisions of something that I'm working on. All right, so let's say I'm working in this session, and this was actually just me messing around with sound design. It wasn't uh, an actual mix for a client or anything. This was just me messing around. So that's part of why I'm using this, because I have the rights to share this. But anyway, um, a lot of times what happens when I'm actually working on a mix or something for a client is the session is a lot more complex than this. And I do work on it over the course of multiple days sometimes. I like to take breaks and you know switch around what I'm working on throughout the day. Um, and so then what happens is I might do you know an hour or two on a mix today, and then tomorrow I'll do another hour or two or something like that. So I do tend to have projects that I'm working on over the course of multiple days, and that'll come into play in a second here, um, especially when I'm tracking, right? So when we're tracking, we obviously will have multiple days usually, unless it's a smaller project. So let's say I'm working on this and I worked on this yesterday and I'm just opening it up today for the first time. What I'll do before I do anything in the project is I will go to file and then save as, and then what I'll often do is at the end, I think I usually do it at the end. I think I usually don't do it at the beginning with actual sessions. So then what I'll do is I will actually add the date. So 06, 08, 2020. And I usually add it at the end of the session with Pro Tools sessions. I know some people like to put the year first so that when they then sort by name, it'll uh, pop up in chronological order if you're working on stuff that's over the course of multiple years. Um, I don't usually, that doesn't come into play that often, so I just always check the dates when I'm opening something back up. But anyway, the point is I'll then hit save. And you know, the reason why I use the save as function is you'll notice up here, if you look at the top of my uh, edit window here, when I hit save as, it's going to amend the name of what I'm working on to up here. So that means that I'm actually working now in this new saved version of this session. So now what I have here is I have a new version of the session, right? A whole new PTX file. And that's just for the work that I do today. And so I usually do it day by day. So each day when I work on something, I will save as and amend the date, right? And so if I wanna look at where I was yesterday or where I was last week, all I have to do is go find the PTX file for that date, that previous date, and open it up. And I can get an idea of where I was 
at the end of that day, right? So that's one thing that I do for version control. Um, I found that to be really easy, you know? So then you'll have multiple PTX files in your session folder, which can be kind of a pain, but it's not too bad because usually it has the same exact name, you know? And then I just have it amended with the date. So you just look for, you know, that series of names that are the same, the PTX files that are the same. Sorry, my throat's going for some reason. Um, and then you just look for the most recent date when you want to open something up and start working on it again. Or if you're trying to go back and see where you were previously with the mix, you can go back and look at that previous date. So that's kind of how I do version control in the sense of wanting to go back in time on a macro scale. But if I want to go on a micro scale, right, Pro Tools has this function built in where you can go and look at your session file backups. And you can see a bunch of backups through time as you're working on the project. And so how Pro Tools saves these depends on your settings here. So let me find them. So set up prefer can't say it, preferences. And then if you go to the operation tab, you just go to where it says auto backup. And I'm sure I've shown this in a previous video. Um, I'm sorry for redundant info, but it just comes up, I guess. Um, anyway, you go to auto backup. And then if you're not getting your session file backups, if they aren't being created, you just want to enable them. And then you can tell it how many backups to keep and then how often to create those backups. So that's how you can go back in time on a more micro scale if you want to. And so that's good for going backwards to check on your mix if you're a beginner and you want to make sure you're going in the right direction. But it's also good if Pro Tools crashes, right? So um, that kind of has a dual purpose hit there, which is really nice. Okay, and then the last thing to keep in mind is, you know, I did the save as function because once you do that save as function, you are in that version of that save, right? But just to keep in mind, if you wanted to go save copy in, then what would happen is it would create another PTX file the same way that this did, except you're not gonna then be in that copy. So let me pretend it's tomorrow here. And you know, it's been a while since I used this function, but I believe if you leave pretty much all the settings as is here, then what it'll do is it's not gonna duplicate the audio files, it'll just duplicate the session. So there's a couple different ways to use this function, but I'm not gonna get into that today. But basically, if I wanna make a copy of this session, I'll do 09, right? So we're in 08 here. And let's say I get rid of copy of, I like to get rid of the copy of on the name when I do these things. And then I just hit save. And you'll notice here, I'm still in 0608. So if you do save copy in, it's kind of for a different purpose, right? So you can create a whole new version of your Pro Tools session folder with a whole duplicate copy of your audio files and everything if you want. And you can also just duplicate the PTX file, right? And then it'll be in your actual finder with the other PTX files. So here mine is that I just did. So since I didn't copy all the audio files, right, it just made that PTX file. Um, but just keep in mind that if you do save copy in, you're not gonna then be in that newer version of the session. So let's say it's tomorrow, it's the 9th, and I go and I do save copy in and I create the version that's 0609 and I use the save copy in function instead of the save as function, I'm still gonna be working in the 0608 version, the 0608 PTX file, right? So the problem with that is then the next day, if I go to open the session and work on it, I might open 0609 and not realize that I just went back in time, right? Because I saved that and then I worked more, right? So you wanna be careful about which function you use and you wanna check, and at least until you're really comfortable with it, you wanna check that you are in the version that you wanna be in for that day. At least, you know, if you're using this system. So yeah, that's how I do version control in Pro Tools. It's super low tech, it's pretty simple. It works for me. I've gotten the hang of doing it this way. So I just kind of keep doing it this way. Um, so I'd love to hear how you guys do things. And if you guys have a better system, I would love to hear about it. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the Pro Tools projects feature. I haven't gone into that in depth yet. So um, I could definitely learn more in that area. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate all of those things. Again, I do have that Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content, including some early releases of videos and stuff like that. So I come out with a new video every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay. But then I'll add the date. So it's like 0708, I think, today. Um, oh shit, is it today? It's six, it's June. <laughs>
Oh my god. Okay.